All right, let's have some fun, y'all. Let's have some fun. So, um, the internet, in many respects, has been a glorious thing. It's been a wonderful thing. It's expanded our horizons, made us more uh, educated because you have all the information in the world available at your fingertips 24-7 if you dare to look for it, if you know what you're doing when you're looking for it. Um, but there's a downside to the internet. The internet also has poisoned many people's brains. It has given them toxic brain rot, where uh, basically you read anything and you believe it, even if it's totally unreliable, even if it's some, you know, message board with some freak on the other end making stuff up. Some people just fall hook, line, and sinker. Well, um, in step Candace Taylor, who ran for governor in 2022 and became a Georgia GOP district chair. So this is actually a Republican politician in Georgia. And she decided she's got to come out of the closet as a, a flat earther. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And she goes on a show here, a very conservative Christian type show. It says Jesus, guns, and something else underneath, which I can't read. <laughs> but I, I think good enough knowing the first two words <laughs> in the name of the show. Jesus, guns, fill in the blank. So uh, here's what she has to say about this. This is glorious. More and more, I'm like, it doesn't make sense. So is it or not? I don't know 100%, but it's just, it doesn't make sense the other way. It, now that you see it. it. Is the, the people that defend the globe don't know anything about the globe because if they knew a tenth of what Matt and I know about the globe, they would be flat earthers because it's absolutely ridiculous. I, I can't unsee this. All the globes everywhere. I turn on TV. There's globes in the background. There's globes on there right here. Like this would be a globe if I was a normal person. Like everywhere there's globes. You see them all the time. I mean, it's constant. My children will be like, mama, globe, 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 globe. <laughs> They're everywhere. And that's what they do to brainwash. And so for me, if it is not a conspiracy, if it is, you know, real why are you pushing so hard everywhere I go, every store, you buy a globe, there's globes everywhere, every movie, every TV show, news media, why? <laughs> I love her logic. You know, I see the globes everywhere, and so the globes being everywhere means not true. Okay, look, I could actually use that argument in a context where it's correct. You ready? You go around the United States, all you see is Jesus, 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 Jesus everywhere, Jesus here, Jesus there, church here, church there, church everywhere you look. People always talk about Jesus and God and the Bible, and so I know that's not true, because why are they trying to shove it down our throats so much? That's an instance of using that argument where it's actually correct. <laughs> but the argument she's using, you no, know, the reason why there are globes everywhere, which by the way, are there? Are there globes everywhere? I mean, there is literally a globe right here, right? Because, you know, I chose to have this here as a little, a little decorative piece, but globes are not nearly as common as churches or Bible. There's a Bible in every hotel room in America, right? There's not a globe in every hotel room in America, is there? <laughs> but anyway, the um, to the extent that globes are, like, in a bunch of different places, it's because it's true. It's because it's like, hey, this is accurate. This is correct. Right? Look, I'm not gonna... Here's the thing about cons some conspiracy theories. Some conspiracy theories are true. Everybody knows that. Everybody. I mean, there's a history of, you know, the CIA will be involved in some conspiracy, and then, like, 30 years later, they're like, okay, yeah, you got us. That one's true. The Bay of Pigs type stuff, COINTELPRO, like, there's a lot of conspiracy. The Tuskegee experiments, true, true, true. There's plenty of conspiracies that are true. But there are also a million conspiracies that are totally bonkers, nuts, insane, flat-out false. Just totally false. But the thing that the internet has brought to us is really, really creative, clever motherfuckers coming up with the conspiracies and coming up with arguments for the conspiracies. Now, this woman is not the most clever, obviously, right? But look, you can go down some conspiracy rabbit holes where you come out the other end and you're like, I'm convinced. One time I watched a video, it was like, uh, they were trying to make the argument that like some of the best architectural stuff that we see around the world whatever, it's like old school, you know, Roman ruins or beautiful giant buildings in Paris or wherever it is. They were trying to make the argument that, oh, that there's no way that that was made by human. All that was made by aliens. Why? Because I don't know. Look at the architecture elsewhere back in those days. You got people with these, you know, little shacks with rickety wood that are like falling down. And how could you afford, how could you, how did you have the engineering capability to make something, these beautiful Roman columns where things are carved in statues and the statues look perfect with the faces and the, the detail is... 
and they make this argument of like, well, it's obviously this is built by aliens. Obviously, there's some, you know, in some mega intelligence that made this and us stupid idiot humans stumbled across it and it was just in this form originally. And it's like, it's the dumbest argument I've ever heard in my life, right? But they find a way to make it sound convincing. I mean, you want to have a, a, a fun weekend, go go down the 9-11 conspiracy theory rabbit hole and you'll find roughly 40 different talking points that you're like, it's over, man. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. All the conspiracies are true. <laughs> but that's like... People, see, this is the thing. People need to give conspiracy theorists their flowers because they are some creative, clever ass motherfuckers. But doesn't mean they're right. Does not mean they're right. In fact, there are some conspiracies that are true. There are some that are half true, but then there's others that are just the absolute dumbest of the dumb things you could ever imagine ever. And flat earth is one of those things. If I could have my way, there are two conspiracies that I would make true. One of them is flat earth. Why? Because it sounds intuitively correct. <laughs> like you look, you know, you go outside, you look, go to, you know, go somewhere in Texas and look out and go, yeah, it looks like the world is flat. This looks like the world is flat. <laughs> from, from my perspective right now, they call it big sky country. You can see it, big sky, everything looks flat, right? So that's one of them. The other conspiracy I would make true, this isn't even really a conspiracy, but it's a belief Trump has that he popularized that I was like, I like that one. The idea that uh, the human body is like a battery. And so the more you save your energy, the healthier you are and the longer you'll live. There's a famous story. One of Trump's friends once went up to him and said, uh, I'm running a marathon. And Trump was like, are you insane? You're going to die young. Like you're going to die in like a couple months here, bro. Because you're going to waste all your energy, all the energy in your battery and you're going to die. Now, that one, of course, it's not true. In fact, it's quite the opposite. The more you work out, the more you exercise, the more active you are, the longer you tend to live, right? Because the, the healthier it is to, like, move around a lot. But it would be cool if the battery thing was true, because then my laziness would be rewarded. <laughs> my, like, hey, I just want to sit here and, like, watch some shit. That would be rewarded. And so those would be the two I would bring back. Anyway, I'm way off in, in Nowheresville over here, but I love this lady. This lady's awesome. Because I love the just the, the lack of reasoning here is amazing. It's just like, <laughs> I see globes everywhere. We've been told it's globes. I don't believe in no damn globe. If y'all seen what I seen, you'd know it's the flat earth is true, honey. The flat earth is true. I would bet any amount of money she's also a young earth creationist. That she believes the world is 6,000 years old. Instead of what it really is, 4.54 billion years old. <laughs> I think 6,000, that's what it says in the Bible. That's what, it, we're going to go with 6,000. And she probably believes Adam and Eve is like a historical, historically accurate retelling of history. <laughs> oh, man. I love this woman. I'm laughing, but she's going to be the leading contender in the Republican primary in the 2030s. Just wait and see. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.